My name is Jonathan, and welcome to today's presentation on an intelligent DDoS de detection system using machine learning and AI. So today, in a world where our reliance on digital services and online platforms continues to grow, the threat of DDoS attacks, also known as the distributed denial of service attack, looms large. It has been posing a significant risk to our cybersecurity landscape. So um, imagine a scenario where a popular website or online service you depend, you depend on suddenly becomes inaccessible due to a, a malicious DDoS attack. How would this disruption impact your daily routine or business operations? Have you ever experienced the, the frustration and the potential consequence of being unable to access a website during a uh, suspected DDoS attack. So the, the, so the impact here is very huge. So um, USACO, the, uh, also known as the, the USA Computing Olympiads, has always been one of the most pre prestigious computer science and algorithm competition within high schoolers like me, and maybe some of my like, you know, um, some fellow researchers. Each year the USACO official selects top gifted students round by round and prepare them representing the U.S. to compete against other countries in IOI, which is the International Olympias in Informatics. So such important competition was targeted in January 2024, causing thousands of people unable to submit their solutions in the given uh, specific time frame, and thus failing the January contest. And two days later, the officials announced and apologize, but no further actions like a uh, retest was conducted. So it's truly a sad story. So now we consider the broader uh, implications of such attacks on society and businesses and the economy as a whole. So how can we better protect our digital infrastructure from these malicious activities? And therefore today, um, we will explore the critical problem of DDoS attacks and um, the importance of developing an advanced detection system to um, to combat this cybersecurity threat. And we will deep dive into how these attacks can affect society, businesses, and um, economy, and discuss the urgent need for solution to protect our digital infrastructure. So now why should we care about DDoS. So according to a news report by Newstar, um, DDoS attacks increased by approximately 100, 154% in the first half of 2020 compared with the, to the same time period in 2019. Likewise, the number of DDoS attacks worldwide reached 10.35 million in 2020, marking a significant rise from the previous year. Also, the average cost of a DDoS attack for an organization is estimated to be huge. For example, in a survey conducted by uh, um, Kaspersky, which is a well-known cybersecurity company, about 33% of organizations reported that DDoS attacks had resulted in financial losses of over $100,000. And third, as I mentioned, the result of um, a client unable to use the service is has a lot of possibilities and usually unpredictable. So these impacts emphasize the need for an advanced detection system that can quickly identify and mitigate the DDoS threats to protect organizations from potential harm. So after doing some research, I've decided to create a machine learning model. So by harnessing some DDoS data sets from the internet after some other research, uh, we could take advantage of machine learning to produce a comprehensive DDoS detection model and deploy it to predict DDoS threat. So my solution is as follows. So first AI, this part consists of machine learning models that have been trained to identify DDoS using patterns and features found in the network traffic data. These models include uh, rainforest, 
um, support vector machine and the k nearest neighbors. The detecting process is based on these quote models. And the use of traditional machine learning models increases the overall speed because speed also plays a huge role in a quick and um, responsive detection model. Second, the Tkinter app. So the goal of the, this Tkinter based user interface is to offer a front end that is easy to use for engaging with the DDoS detection system. Users can initiate the DDoS detection procedure and upload traffic data files and check the, autumn, the outcomes. The outcome is both printed in the application and saved to a text file containing details. And um, these are just snippets of code. Uh, we have logo, background images, and progress bar, and uh, the DDoS detect detection model uh, method. So Flask app web application. So this system's backend, the, the Flask web application, Manages, manages requests from web users. This Flask web application serves as an alternative to the Tkinter app. So you can either upload the capture file, but also manually enter the enter data entry. So the supply traffic data is then analysis and predictions are made. And the results are sent back to the front end for presentation by the Flask application using the pre-trained pre AI model. Um, so in addition to the user uploading traffic, uh, capture traffic, the Flask web application features a, a real-time DDoS detec detection mechanism. So the web application, application will keep running the detector in the backend, keep capturing data using the SCAPI library, and then send the, the lively captured PCAP file to the detector. Uh, the detector would do the same thing um, to these PCAP file, except this time the the PCAP is the is real time captured file. Then the website owner can decide what to do regard to those malicious traffics. They can simply filter the traffic, or yeah, you know, drop the traffic, or they can mitigate the attack by routing the traffic across different mitigation server. And last but not least. The malicious DDoS file will be saved for future analysis and uh, maybe cyber, cyber forensics. So before taking a look into the model, let's first take a take a look at the data. So as we can see from the from the pie chart visualization, we seem to have lots of malicious packets from the UDP protocol. This is reasonable because of its um, lightweighted feature. And DNS would be a perfect example of um, app application UDP attack. So for the malicious port number, one might argue that the DDoS attacks are not limited to those five ports. And you are correct. These five ports are solely the ports used to create the data set and will be removed and not considered as a feature to the model. However, we, want, we do want to put um, high weights on some well-known ports such as the port 80, the HTTP, and port 443, the HTTPS, which can cause the um, sync flawed DDoS attack. So these are the more detailed benign and malicious bar graphs for some features such as um, protocol and their graph using pipeline. Again, the source IP and destination IP uh, will not be considered as a feature because they are just random variables. And overall, the data has more uh, more benign traffic than the malicious traffic. So we we have removed some of the benign benign traffic to um, to balance the data set. So um, our study distinguishes itself through a meticulous approach to um, pre-processing data and employing various column transformers and pipeline combinations, such as the um, one-hot encoder and the standard scaler and uh, um, a, a custom data augmenter. 
After conducting a series of experiments to evaluate their impact on prediction, prediction model accuracy, we ultimately selected the um, standard scalar alone for its superior performance. This decision was informed by uh, empirical evidence um, gathered during the trials, uh, which underscores our um, optimized pre-processing methodology. So the, uh, the culmination of our project's endeavor was the meticulous selection and refinement of the most effective machine learning model for um, detecting DDoS attacks. This process includes a comprehensive um, exp exploration of uh, a, a, an array of algorithms, including um, logistic regression, KNN and the various neural network architectures. Our objectives was to ascertain the algorithm that not only fit our data, but also excel in prediction accuracy. So in our experiment, we have evaluated the performance of our inter uh, intelligent DDoS detection system using various machine learning models. So decision tree and random forest has the have the highest accuracy among among all other algorithms as shown. However, such high accuracy is suspicious to be overfitting. So we have conducted conducted more evaluations against those models. Um, the this is the hyperparameter tuning stage. The precision of each model was examined uh, with DD with the. Uh, decision trees and um, and random forest algorithms emerging as the top performance in accuracy. The standard performance of random forest is attributed, attributed to its uh, assemble approach that synthesizes multiple decision trees. It affirms its effectiveness in capturing the complex patterns typical typically emerging in the DDoS attacks. So through careful um, uh, adjustments to the model's hyperparameter, we achieved an optimal balance between the prediction accuracy and generalization. Now we are only interested in the random forest classifier. So these are additional experiments we have conducted conducted for the for a model we we no longer consider, and here we can observe some theoretical trend like a cross-validation score increases with a different C value. And we know that C value penalizes the complexity of the model. And after another rigorous evaluation and experiment process, which involved cross-validation and performing metrics, um, the random forest algorithm still emerged as a top uh, superior model. It consistently outperformed its um, counterparts in, in terms of cross-validation cross-validation accuracy, proving to be the highly adept at um, discerning the complex patterns of DDoS traffic. And furthermore, by fine-tuning the hyperparameters of the, the random force model, we are able to enhance its predictive uh, capability significantly. So this careful, this careful um, calibration process involved adjusting the number of trees, the depth of each tree, and each algorithm specific parameters. And it ultimately achieve a finally optimized uh, model. So the result is uh, is a robust and uh, effective defense mechanism. And uh, yeah. So please check out the Tikkun app demonstration on the Kali Linux, uh, which is a Linux distro used for offensive uh, security. So, yeah. And then challenges. So training AI models can indeed be time consuming. It often requires a combination of resources and periods for convergence. And additionally, generating PCAP files from user inputs can also pose challenges. It usually slows down the, the system if 
you know, the there's a process keep running in the back end. And uh, so future work, simultaneously, we are developing a reinforcement learning model. Well, despite its slower response compared to the random forest model, its adaptability to um, its adaptability to the ever changing landscape of DDoS attack techniques is is uh, important, very um, indispensable. So, given that the attackers are constantly refining their intrusion tactics, a uh, a static model like a random forest, which relies on a single data set, is very insufficient. It lacks uh, the dynamic trait to accommodate, ac accommodate new variants and uh, attack strategies. Our commitment, therefore, extends beyond a one-time solution to a sustained, evolving defense, defense mechanism, combining continuous evaluation with uh, real attacks using the uh, Apache testing application. So a uh, reinforcement learning model is much more complicated because we need to define the uh, uh, environment, establish the agent, and determine the, the state space and define actions. However, this is still a challenge and a learning process I hope I could enjoy. And um, thank you for listening. And should you have any suggestions or questions, don't hesitate.